Hey there folks, this is Damon on David's Brain. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Mega Man ZX Advent for the Zero ZX Legacy Collection on PS4. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and get straight to my Patreon link description at the bottom. And yeah, last time, well, good news is, well, well, we just had ourselves a pure victory because, yeah, last time we took care of, uh... Uh, yeah, last time we took care of Voltron, but bad news is that Pandora managed to get away with yet another model W fragment. So, yeah. Uh, it's time for us to go and take care of the next Pseudoroid and, and the control center. But yeah, I definitely need to get this one out of the way for some side quests. Is it I'm here or what? That building is the control center for several energy furnaces in the surrounding city, but the Mavericks have caused an uncontrollable thermal runaway. If we don't do something, the energy furnaces will explode. These guys don't mess around, do they? We don't know how long those furnaces have until they blow. Do something to take charge of that control center. Ow. Okay, so the fire isn't just for show. Let's see here. I have to pull one.
Ah! Uh, yeah, I choked. idea of how to actually do this thing. Oh! Okay. I'm an idiot. I am a massive idiot. This is a thousand times easier. Boy, did I just waste a whole lot of effort? Alright, that little goof up's out of the way. I can actually crawl up those vines as Rose Spark. Probably would have made the uh, extra challenge in this book. Uh, well, uh, probably would have made the Z Chaser step in a lot easier if I had known I could do that. But probably not time efficient. Whatever. Well, or at least I do remember this segment here. So I guess... Hold on, let me just see here. Okay, so... Hmm, so much for that idea. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I have to go and max out the uh, bio metal stuff in order to unlock their giga attacks. Oh, well, still not all that hard, just, uh, Kind of caught me by surprise, that's all. Mm. 
No, no, I'll save it until I get to the very end. So much easier now that I'm not on the clock. Uh, but then again, anything is easier when you're not on time limit. sure what the significance of this place is, but okay. Surviving the game of destiny. Yeah, no, thanks to your pawn. Well, have you found anything out about yourself? I've learned that I'm nothing like you. Funny. I was under the impression that we were two peas in a pod. You're bitter at me for making you look like a fool in front of your friends. You're here to fight for revenge. Same as me. 
don't know what it is you're fighting for, but I'm different. I just don't appreciate you using people for your entertainment, as if you know everything. Stop quibbling and trying to rationalize your own actions. You think you're some kind of a hero, but one day you'll wake up and realize you'll never be a hero. What did you say? That's right, remember that. The next time we meet, I won't just be retrieving Model W's. No rush. I'll cut you to ribbons soon enough. Look forward to it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll kick your ass later then. Yeah, he makes me sick. Uh, but he left us a party gift. My, my. Did little Prometheus leave already? He's so impatient. In a moment, the energy furnaces will explode, and a beautiful fire flower will bloom, filled with sweet nectar. The nectar of terror. I'll never let your horrible flower bloom! Oh, it's you. The Mega Man Model A that Prometheus talked about. I'm Queen Bee. I'll give you a taste of my special nectar. Uh, phrasing? Despair. With a touch of bitterness. Right, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, to get another metal out of her, I got I, I got I, I can only just attack her hive.
Uh, what? You refuse my precious gift of despair? Oh. Sorry, buddy. And sorry, lady. You should probably should have kept a receipt. Ta-ta! A silver bell, but yeah, I, I apparently need to take her out before she summons her bees. Oh well. I presume that's the main computer which controls the energy furnaces. This can't be! The, uh, the cooling function can't keep pace with the thermal runaway! I'll rip out the core module and shut down the main computer by force! Uh, how are we going to take out the core module? It's huge! Hey, change to the Queen Bee! She was carrying some kind of big container before, right? Shouldn't we be able to raise the core module up the way she did? Uh, when you morph into Queen B, you can fly by pressing the jump button. But when you fly, your BM gauge goes down. Flip the core module, first get on top of it, and press down on the control pad to dock. And when the core module is docked, press the jump button to fly away with the module. Who knows? There may be other things you can dock with. If you find something in the area that you think you can dock with, give it a try. All right. Let's take her off for a spin. It seems to have switched over to its subsystem somehow, and the thermal runaway has stopped. The auto recovery system should kick in momentarily. Thank you for your help. Alright. All right, let's see, Queen Bee. Let's see, she can fly, dock with uh, certain objects. Let's see. And her needle shot and fire shot. Just a quick save, and now, uh, now that we have Queen B, I can finally take care of some side quests that I've been meaning to get to for quite a while now. Alright, uh, but I'll say, uh, spare you all the details. Queen Bee attaches to, her body becomes a uh, variegated armament. She can transport things under the weapons containers as long as the joint specifications match. The Capsule Converter. The security cannon was created using Bio Metal Model F technology. Because of the thermal runway instead of the, uh, the control center, it can only operate at one fifth of its potential. The Gyro Cutter. Uh, fires weren't into two directions at regular intervals. The razor sharp propeller blade can slice through just about anything. Uh, the Burner. This mechanoloid has the DNA, uh, this mechanoloid has the DNA data of a pseudoroid and is well adapted to digging holes in rocks. It drops down from ceilings, plants itself firmly in the ground, and burns like a candle. So yeah, this pseudoroid, uh, this mechanoloid was, uh, was copied from Flammable's DNA. Of uh, flame darts. This hermit crab mechanoloid, uh, can move around upside down surfaces. They were once converted into solid, uh, converted into its solid as portable cooking ranges until they were rec recalled after the trouble with them catching on fire. The bomb flower. The bomb flower collects tiny dust particles from the atmosphere and uses them for energy to create tiny bombs. Put simply, the dirtier the air, the more bombs it can make. Sounds like a nasty little combo. Now I'll just pop in here. And yep, we got ourselves the bronze for uh, uh, for Voltron, the Queen Bee, silver for uh, Chrono Force, and of course Voltron's gold medal. And yeah, what's the point of getting all 24 of them? To go and unlock another bio medal. Or uh, for, uh, for another game, uh, another playthrough. Oh, hold on. Looks like Queen Bee's back at the control center. 
This Legion mission request just came in. They need somebody to go over there and do something about the problem. You're as good a hunter as anybody. You might as well take the request. And yeah, we've reached the point where the pseudoroids are starting to come back. Or at the very least, Queen B is. So yeah, now I can try again and, uh, uh well, try and work for a way to uh, go and be here before, you know, I have to go get the other medals off of her. Although, yeah, the conditions for beating her are not easy. Let's see, the bronze medal, let's see, well, I can only damage her using oh, only her exploding hive. Let's see, the silver medal, let me see, silver was uh, a killer while there's no, none of her small bees around. And the gold medal is to take her out without hitting her, uh, uh, uh without hitting her, uh, well, her hive. Yeah, it looks like that thing can only open the, uh, uh, yeah, with a nice attack. And unfortunately, Chrono Force can't hit anything out of the air like that. Uh, yeah, defeat Queen B. Uh, oh yeah, put out the fire back at Legion, and find the lost friends. All right. Well, just gonna save and then call the day. So until next time, folks, this is David on David's Brain. See you when I see ya. Bye-bye.